Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our Bind Let's Play of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim for the PS5. As told by Kito Miura, upon the reunion, Takatoshi Ijiyama came upon empty ruins and packs of an active demos after returning to 1945. We're gonna jump right in, my friends. Let's do this. All right. I hope you are all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Before dawn, Higuromacho, abandoned factory alley. We are back on this uh, sequence here. What am I supposed to do now? If I'd been there before my homeland lost everything, if I'd fought in the Sentinel, maybe we'd still have some hope left. I'm pretty sure you According probably would have died that chance is long gone i'm just guessing but i, I think it would have died I still know something i feel so powerless in the end all i can do is rely on him i you love him is what you want to say so this uh, he's telling me about all these things but even I know this is all over my head. How do I make a difference? Is it even possible? Can you... Uh, go to Sakura High School. Back here again. Now, where is Okino? We're still looking for Okino though. That has not changed. Uh, let's see, so yeah. Just need to find the guy. One new thing up top that's probably just changed though. Don't need to worry about that. Or at least I don't think we need to worry about that. I mean, who knows? Oh, hello, you're new. Okay. Even though you're new. Can't interact with you and you just follow me around. That's a little bit creepy. Hold it right there. <laughs> you certainly don't take pride in your appearance. That's all I have to wear. Do we really have students like you at our school? Well, I've never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. I've never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. Okay, well, let's just leave him then. Great? That obvious. What happened? I looked at the wrong was strange. Nothing else came of that, though. But it swore something was gonna happen. I guess not. Interesting. Got you all nervous. I just don't I've never seen you time. around. What oh, school do you attend? I can't skip this, by the way. Business. What's the show? It's uh, midnight meow meow. I've never seen you around. Yeah, that's weird. I can't I skip that, even though it's the same dialogue. And I'm pretty sure that is the same dialogue, because he just keeps repeating the same thing over and over and over again. There's a cat, Chintaro. Can't interact with that. Now any change? Uh, it's like so annoying. Because when I go everywhere and I don't find anything, it is frustrating because you're like, well, what am I supposed to do? There better be something here. There's not. Are you serious? There is nothing here. Well, we could still check the uh, walkway, right? Are you serious, game? Like, seriously? Like, w what is your problem with Takatoshi's scenario? Did you, like, do all the other characters' scenario and then just say, Oh, Takatoshi, we don't got time for him, so we're just not going to do what we've been doing the entire game. And we're just gonna, you know, just... Just, just 
let the player run around for an hour until he finds like the exact specific thing you're supposed to do. Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. What's the show? It's uh midnight meow meow. Uh I'm just a big fan, you know, back to front. Oh, right. That show with the pop stars. What? Something wrong with that? I mean, it's fine, but Okay, I thought listening to that dialogue would have helped, but it doesn't. You guys had to say anything? No. See, th this is just, like I said, this just frustrates me because... I mean, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to find Okino, but there's no way I can go to find Okino. And I could go around and get change again. I could do that, but what's the point? I mean, if you look at this, it says, uh, hear about loose change, so that's Sekihara. That's this plot line. So how the heck do I get to this plot line? What's got you on? I just... Okay, now I can fast forward through his text. See, I don't... I don't really get it. Oh, hello. Finally. Wait, uh, this isn't what it looks like. You see, the fact that you had to do that to advance the storyline is just... Please wait. It, it's, it, it goes against the grain of what you normally do. Because when you normally look at this, going through this change takes you through this scenario. So you look at that and you're like, oh, I'm not supposed to do that because that is a different thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just... I, I feel like Takatoshi's... Uh, Storyline is just not as well put together as the rest of the game. Now, I'm still loving this game. Don't get me wrong. I I, I have no pump pointing out flaws in games, okay? I am an honest guy will tell you exactly what I'm thinking. And this part here is a little bit frustrating compared to the rest of the game. Just saying that, you can correct me if you're wrong, if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but I like the story. I just don't like how they how they trigger you know, the next events. I guess it wasn't a misunderstanding at all. And I was hoping that was a one-off with, uh, with the, uh, you know, yesterday's episode. I was thinking about maybe putting them back to back and just doing the entire, you know, part on just, uh, Takatoshi. Um, but I wanted to take a break from it to do some of the battles because we do have to do those as well. Now I'm thinking I probably should have just done all of Takatoshi since it seems to annoy me. <laughs> and there's still, like, where am I going now? Again, I'm just running around looking for the next thing. I assume we have to go to the schoolyard because that's where uh, he was. And there's the cat again, so I'm assuming we got to use change now. Really? What exactly are you doing? <sighs> really? See? I mean, that's just... Right. That show oh, hey, Miyawako. I mean, Can I... Hello? Um... Really? Hold it right there. Gato-senpai! Oh. Sorry. I remembered something I have to do. Okay, good. We can finally hopefully get on with the, uh, the storyline here. Maybe. Maybe. Do, uh, go to school, your break area. And then here. Uh, go to the, uh... I don't want to go to school here. I want to go to the walkway. No, no, I mean, I want to go to the walkway, not the break area. Come on. The things change on me when I zoned. Okay, so I assume I'm just supposed to use change all the way around. I don't know why I'm getting change again. But if it's advanced to story plot, fine, I'll do it. And nothing. 
Do I need to, um... Do I need to, uh... Do I need to go get a Yakasoba pan? Yeah, that'd help. I have your finest. All right, well, at least we can eat. At least we can eat a yaki silver pan, right? That'll make him happy. Time to dig in. I'm not even gonna skip this. I'm gonna let him enjoy his moment here. Delicious. Impossibly delicious. <laughs> but of course it is. It's Yaki Soba Pong. Alright. I got the Yaki Soba Pan. And again. No idea what to do next. Walk away? Nothing here. Break area. There we go. So we'll see what the usual place later. Uh, told me in Okino. Yeah, I get it. Oh. I'll see you later. Who was that just now? I've been looking for you everywhere, by the Nobody, way. Nobody, okay? It's fine. Oh. Oh, right. I should probably tell you. I'll be late getting home again tonight. You've been gone every night for a while now. Where have you been going? Mm. What you up to? Shrine. You don't need to know. Hey. Going through the gate. Go ahead and get yourself dinner. Don't wait up for me, okay? <sighs> Music got a little bit creepy there. I'll nice go out to Okinawa. Right now. Come on, why not? After sundown, I'll wait for him at Tokisaka Shrine. Well, fine. Let's wait for my Tokisaka no Shrine. Just sitting around waiting for him. We'll have to kill time for a while. <sighs> that damn Okino. Is that what this money was for? Just a bribe to appease me? No, I'm getting too worked up about this. Maybe he cares about you and wants to see you well off. I can spend this all right now. Go get more Yakasoba pan? You can never have yeah, you can never have too many Yakasoba pans. <laughs> it just got added like fifteen times. Yeah, it did. We got three. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know that's a good idea, though. If you eat the same thing that you like multiple times, eventually you're going to grow to dislike it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. I, I, I stand corrected. He, he loved it all three times. And we're not, we're not bought a soda before. Let, let's live dangerously. What kind of soda is that? It looks like a grape. Well, I like grapes. Something's going on with him. I can tell. Uh, hiking. It's so dangerous. It feels like he's hiding something. Uh, hey, see. Apparently, we're just going on an eating and drinking frenzy. It's kind of like if you're worried about someone you love and, uh, you don't know what's going on, so you just, like, eat or drink to keep your mind busy, right? What was Okino planning with that girl? <sighs> and he hasn't. <laughs> Why did he pull that out of <laughs> Oh no. What time is it? 
I need to hurry over to Tokisaka Shrine. Yes, I was about to say that. It's time to head to Tokisaka Shrine already. Stop dilly dallying. Should have been there like hours ago. Instead of just waiting. Nightfall, Tokisaka Shrine. If you really cared about I him, you would have left right away. Slept. It's so late. The two of them must be long gone by now. Probably. Well, no choice. We'll wait here and confront them when they return. Oh, hello. Okata. And Krabi. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Because I sure as hell do. Now that I think about it, I don't know how you escaped, but I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun. Aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But, according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? Must be that girl from this afternoon. Hey, I'm sure Takatoshi is just as upset, okay? So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Matt. Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh. Oh. You don't know either? <laughs> um. <clears throat> All hiding out with all the dots and all the grunts. Did you have to take the same hiding spot? <laughs> it's too hot over here now. Move over there. Shut it. If it's so damn stuffy, then you take a hike. God damn it. I'm sick of all these mosquitoes. Maybe they didn't even go today. Well, Karabe already went home. But I ain't leaving until I know what's going on here. Same here. The way things are, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. So, this girl, Kisaragi, what kind of relationship do you two have? Uh, she's, you know, a friend. A friend, huh? Mm-hmm. Okino hasn't been wearing the dress lately. Did he drop it for the sake of getting close to her? Maybe you weren't the person I thought you were, Tsukasa Is that Tomi or is that Android Tomi? You know what I mean? Shh. They're coming. Seriously, I'm not lying. I know I saw that image pop up. I know. The access logs confirm you got in. The question is, why didn't we get a response? Hello. Oh, you know. Hey, idiot, don't just jump out. Oh, gotcha? <laughs> what the heck are you doing here? Ah, uh, shut up. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you a little jealous? <laughs> That's totally it, right? <laughs> Please, who get jealous over you? <laughs> is that what this is about? You got jealous? Don't be ridiculous. I was just. This is story is really good. Just, I'm worried about you. And, and, and they had to mm. dilute it with that, yeah, that nonsense. Place, anyway, we're past right? it. Well, well, the androids were all broken anyway. I want to know how to save everyone. 
If there's a way it happened to you, then tell me. Moron. Please. I like how both conversations are going I understand. on. As soon as I say that, they stop. I'm doing my best to find the right answer here. I don't know if it'll be enough to save everyone, but it could make a difference at least. I'll tell you all I know. It's getting late. You should all go home. Huh? Come on, Oak. You know, you kidding me? Oh, come on. I'll explain everything on the way back. So walk me home, please. Damn it. You got off easy this time, Okino. Now, we'd better get going. To where? Home? The Tower of Knowledge. Okay. That's where it all starts. Uh, is that what I was expecting? UFO? Is this? I told you about this before. We're inside the buried UFO. What is this? Androids. They were protecting this place. Androids? Mechanized dolls, I guess. They're all broken anyway. <sighs> okay, hold on before I talk to them. It's the same here. Something doesn't feel right. A lot of things don't feel right. You kidding? So this was built by humans from the future? Or extraterrestrials, potentially. So this UFO, it's somewhere deep underground? Let's see. First, you'd better take a look at this. I know that shoreline. That's Ashitaba City in the middle. And 300 meters below the surface, we have this. Wow, it's like a, a perfect saucer. fit around 30 kilometers in diameter. That's gigantic. So this is what the Daimos had been chasing? Exactly. The UFO's also in Sector 5, which means it's also buried there in 1945. The people there disappeared when Daimos came into contact with it. Same as in my time. But there's only one left still fully functional. And that's the one in 1985. 1985 has been added to the dark cloud. Wish I could consider it. We know there's a pattern to the attacks. 40 year gaps going chronologically backwards. Then why has nothing happened in 1985? Why skip that year and go straight to my time? That's actually pretty sharp. Especially for you. Hey, now. It's because 1985 is kind of an outlier. Someone in that time has the decode control key. Wait. 1985 is kind of an outlier. What are your gaps? But aren't these like pillow worlds? So they wouldn't necessarily happen sequentially? Or they did happen sequentially? Or because the attack is coming in 1985, right? In other words, that'd be the one sending commands to the Daimos. That's why they never mounted a full attack. They just went straight to Sector 5. Sector 4 will be the final target on their list. Which means 1985 will be our last line of defense. Uh-huh. Okay. So they skipped it and went over it. Sort of like a uh, final destination where they like skip the death and then they come back in the circle. People from the future were preparing for the final battle. Those compatible with the inner Lossiter were being gathered in sector four. So in the end, we can't stop the commands? 
Well, you already know the situation. We have no idea who's actually summoning them. Even then, killing the source would be meaningless. Someone else would just start broadcasting the signal. Anyone implanted with the inner Lossiter is a candidate. Any one of them can be the Deimos's Wayfinder. So even I might be... Yeah. Even you could be the one luring them to us. One guy had his own plan. Murder everyone who had an inner Lossiter. And that was Izumi. No more signal. He thought that might save the world. If it meant I could save my homeland, I would gladly give my life. <sighs> so why do we have it in the first place? Who modified us with that inner Lossiter? Is... is that what they wanted? To destroy the world? Like I said, there's still a lot we don't know. Besides which, it's this UFO that's abducting people. <clears throat> we don't know much about the inner Lossiter, but... It's general use information technology from 2188. It's got that decode sending out commands, but... That's comparatively a very minor part of its function. Wait, minor? That's the part I don't get. Something else is eating up over 80% of the inner Lossiter's processes. Some totally unrelated function. I'm sorry, um... This is a lot of information. I just wanted to... Just wanted to fully understand it. Um... Who modified us? So this is Megumi, right? Uh. And the eighty percent—that's the uh the uh, the Demos game, with the meta chips. Am I reading that correctly? Nothing to do with the decode. I. Tried to find out what function the system's prioritizing, but well, he just said nothing with the I decode, just, though. I don't know. None of this makes sense. The data throughput of the decode isn't that much. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Dimos and access three locations at regular intervals. One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO. Universal control. Might have to do with the reason people disappear. I'd need more data to know for sure. The second point of access is Sector 1. The automated factories in the year 2105. The factories weren't destroyed when they attacked. They're using them to manufacture more Dimos. That's where the Sentinels were created too. And the final access point, by my guess, would be the thing Tomi Kisaragi saw. Some kind of satellite in orbit. And from its data banks, they're pulling blueprint data for the Daimos themselves. Even knowing all that, though, are we any closer to saving the world? That's a one million dollar question, isn't it? It's a long shot, but... If I can figure out this UFO and the orbital contact point, it's possible we can bring back the people who disappeared. Isn't the contact point the uh, satellite mute is in? But yeah, it feels like I'm still overlooking something. Something a bit more fundamental. Well, we don't need to worry about it to be continued here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Oh! Takatoshi John went to Tokusaka Shrine to find Takasa Okino and figure out a way to save everyone inside the UFO. You jammed me. Okay, discover the truth about the world. And then. And it's locked by the worst person possible because Renya, you need 80% or over of everyone else. Yeah. That's a thing. So who should we go with next? Um, 
Uh, let's go with the other 85. Go shoot Amaguchi. But Shirtu's satellite appeared out of nowhere and ended up in outer space. When Amaguchi returned to the surface, Tetsuya Ida pressed him to cooperate. Let's go. Alright. Shoot Amaguchi. Back home at his apartment. Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. We got one new thing. My the wing? So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No, wait. I'm the one who approached her. And she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey, <laughs> maybe this isn't so bad after all. <laughs> I really should listen to these, by the way. In my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's got to be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like not having a body of your own? The way Miyuki and Abba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They were just they memories. already happened. It's all in the past. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... <sighs> Another version of you? But it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. In a parallel world? Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. This is lit up again. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some secret service government spy? That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. Hey, she is, she is pretty awesome. Shukun, please help me. But you like her too. Very confusing. Hey. He knows I'm here now. Oh. He's going to try to have me eliminated. Who is he? What? Hello? Wait, wait, what do you mean eliminated? So much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. I know. But I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. Wait, wait. Uh, Tetsuya Ida. When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? The me from yes. the other future? Why is he after you? He's trying to kill you? I'm helping you. What? I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. He wants to reset it? What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. And a reset means you would be erased too. You're talking about kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The sentinels were built to fight those kaiju. To defend the world you call home. You're talking about kaiju now? I think that's the same. Just wanted to double check. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There is a supercomputer hidden below your town. We call it Universal Control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier. Possibly to make you easier to manage. Hmm. Or to Even control. I tell you the real reason. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. You and I have met many times in your dreams. Oh, that song from my 
my dream. You don't mean... you're... You finally realized. This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart. Just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me. But a different Tomi Kisaragi what? from the one in your world. What? I'm not human anymore. That's Tomi? Just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. What? Alright, my brain just exploded. Because I literally stared at the screen for about 10 seconds or so before I could even say anything. I was just... What? Oh no. He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel in... Hey! I'm gonna no, get you to don't leave me hanging like this to fully use all the things on her I'm gonna change the channel she's been reaching out to me using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us she's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams the Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left just a mind inside a machine it's crazy Why does Ida She's want to gone. kill her, though? What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? I don't care. Go, move I your butt. Let's go. Be a huge mess. Nope, nope. A girl has asked for my help. Exactly. I can't just run away from this. Thank you. Let's go. I'll go. Yes, let's. And I'll stop narrating. The rest when I get there. Come on, come on, move it. Your monologue on the way. Come on, let's go, let's go. Uh, and shoot. Okay, Senpai. that was unexpected. The door was locked. How did you get in? I broke the lock. With that gun? There was an agent, too. I put him to sleep. All right. You were at the park with him. Are you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. So? What do you want with me? I need your sentinel. My sentinel? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry. But I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? I have to go stop Ida. <sighs> huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Oh, good, good. Think it help me. Let's go. That was unexpected. Uh, the tunnel? Suwabuki bypass yeah. went away. That's where the sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. I'm just that good. Piloting a sentinel damages you. Like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. The girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. I'm not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him. But he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. That guy's attention. It's the only way he can access the terminal. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a sentinel's the only way to shift in. He 
It's just up ahead. Almost there. Fifteen kilometers from the city inside, uh, city center inside the outer walls. Wait. Are you okay? Always taking those pills. What is this place? The outer walls of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship. What are you talking about? Oh, whoa. Uh. Okay, so you never found out that part. <laughs> it's a long story. This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. It's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. So, now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kind of happened. Uh, what about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh, yeah, I got shot. I think she got me right around here. Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. Here goes everything. So I just swipe it like this. Swipey, no swipey. Okay, that works. Nice. Okay. I that see thing you. looks awesome. So yeah, I'm in. But for something so big, well. And why is it we're always naked? It shares design elements from number 14. Like, what's the point of that? There should be a maintenance hatch There's somewhere. gotta be something about it. From there, I could set the shift destination. Okay, let me look. I found it. I think. Where is it? In the back. I like the music. Away we go. Up, up, and away. Sector three, find over the underground facility. Like the little helicopter it's things. Like a world after an apocalypse. That sucker high. It looks a lot like where we live. No, it's in ruins. So we're not going up, up, and away. Well, like, down, down, and down? I'm sorry, I, I don't know why I'm going with this. Yuki! Freeze! Well, it's not good. And I shoot her. So, found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours. What is going on here? Really do try my patience. Oh, shush. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> I 
get it. So it is you after all. Miyuki Inaba needs my help. I have to stop Ida somehow. Or else, he's going to erase her. It doesn't matter. I don't care what group Yuki-chan's wrapped up in. I'm going to save her. Yes, I agree. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... <sighs> Well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all... I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. What? Dropped me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. What? Then you're saying... You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. This is clone. <gasps> a lot like Chihiro. Hey, wait a sec. I'm almost finished here. Just stay quiet for a moment more. No, I'm gonna keep talking. As long as it annoys you, I'm good with that. Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go. I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Oh, shut up. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your sentinel. Which means authorization has been restored to you. Yuki-chan. Don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi. You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah. I love her. You know, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. <sighs> Miyuki... Inaba. ida -kun. So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. I really don't like this guy. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. I really don't like this or guy. Or do you have some other option to share? <sighs> Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. But I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications, but I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Edekun. I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer. And I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. No, you don't understand. This guy's crazy. Attention. Emergency protocol. Four shut down Sentinel number 16. Don't! 
guy's out of his mind. Bastard! She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome kun. Come on. I want to punch this guy. You know you need me. So badly. I'm not a violent person. Hey, really? But that ticks me off. That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. This whole attitude of his, the holier than now, nonsense. Oh, Miyuki Anaba said something about this. She said she knew me through my ID. Probably because he's the one she was trying to track. I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. That is sick, perverted, and just... Yeah. You think we're the same person? Messed up. You're nothing like me. I'd never use a girl as some tool. Yes. Yes. Shit. Good job. Stop right there. Proud of you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Don't move. Good job, Yoko. Damn it. Honey, good you go. Hurry. Right. You hurt Yuki-chan? Hamiguchi. Uh-oh. Shinonome! No, no! You oh, guys such an inconvenience. Saw that coming. Speaking of... No! Hamiguchi! No! Oh. Takamiya-kun, I suggest you come quietly, or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch! Yuki-chan, don't risk it! If we could hurry this up... On it, sir. What? I think Ryoko got the upper hand there. I don't know what she did, Vanished. but... Did they shift? Yuki. A few hours later. So this goes there. Okay, nice. So that's all set. Then let's do this. I think that did the opposite of what you wanted. No dice. You need to take this seriously. Hey, you want to do this yourself? Be my guest. Yeah, it's your fault we're stuck cool. here. He's doing fine. I mean, if you didn't, like, raise your gun on me. Yuki-chan, I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her, no matter what it takes. It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back. Which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. Good man. I like that answer. And I don't agree with you. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing, but I'd have no idea how to get us home. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here, deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Sound about right? Yeah. Uh... 
Come on, out of the way. Let's try this again. This is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki-chan. What am I supposed to do here? Where'd the console go? What just happened? Did it work? What? It just started moving by itself. I think somebody's shifting in. Matchon. Minami? BJ. Amiguchi-kun? The data unit. Men in black. To the final battle. Well, that was an interesting uh ending to that story there. Uh Pine Hero Miyaki Miyuki and Abba's SOS to Amaguchi made his way to Sector 3 with Yoko Shinanami. The rescue mission resulted in a failure and Amaguchi was left behind until Natsuno Minami showed up. I think we have Natsuno's story cleared, right? So we got what? One, two, three, four, five? What? Five stories left? Alright, well, let's go to battle. And, uh, Fuyosaka Tsukigahara. That's possible. I. Yes, that is possible. So we got Tsukigahara and Fuyosaka. Uh, we'll also go with. Uh, Minami. And Kisaragi. Uh, Takamiya. And yeah, someone's got to do it. it. It took me a minute to think about that. Uh, we have 21, 211,000 points. Uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, you're a one. A uh, hurricane rush doesn't do a lot, it really doesn't. It's just doesn't really seem to do a lot. Not like Demolisher Blade. Um, hmm. uh, I could get rid of anti-ground missiles though. I'll give him a little bit more flexibility there between Heart King Rush and Demolisher Blade. Uh, let's go with Fuyasaka. And we have a base guardian. We have a paramitters. Which is like the healer, I guess, the white mage. Um I mean I could give her this. And equip it where the heavy knuckles are. And use the uh the, um, the fusion cutter for ground units. We have heavy knuckles though. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. Um, let's see. This is HP recovery and this is a shield. They're both useful in my opinion. It, it's based on when you need to use it. So we could go ahead and get rid of the fusion cutter let's put this to four and then how much would the sentry gun cost upgrade quite a lot but it's okay all right minami where are we at uh Mr. Rain's really good. I like Mr. Rain a lot. Uh, but what do we want to get rid of? We get rid of... We could get rid of the heavy railgun. Yeah, we could get rid of the heavy railgun. Um, a pulling missile. This could be really useful on, like, those guardian units. And I'm gonna put this where the uh, stun knuckles are. 
Anti-air bombardment. Kind of want to just keep things as they are at the moment. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What's next? Uh, Kisaragi. Uh, once again, we have a homing missile. We have a super large. This this right here is this right here is just amazing. I definitely want to power this puppy up. Uh, what are we gonna replace with it? Um, uh, this is two rail guns. I get rid of the stun knuckles. Wow, the EP is just ridiculous. Can I do anything to like increase EP? Axe speed experience, speed defense. I really wish I had more experience at the beginning. I mean, I probably could have gotten that too on like every unit, like plus one. Yeah, I mean, I could have gotten this on every unit and it would have been better. I'm gonna give it to a plus two. She's at level 17, so she's lower than other people. Um, increases EP recovery, but I don't see anything that's just EP. Oh, it is EP. Very minor, though. Very, very minor. Alright, Takamiya. Uh, what are we gonna do with you? Let's see. Flare torpedoes, shield matrix, um, interceptors. Max amount. Cool. That works for me. That definitely works for me. Um, uh, your floating mine is really good too. That's good. That's like okay. Yeah, I, I think we're good. We spent a lot of money and we got a pretty decked out team here. I, I feel confident. May 28th, 1.42 a.m. So weird, she has all her clothes on. Unfortunately, she's no longer with now, us. don't take that the wrong way, it's just what? you know what I mean. Oh, no. We're lucky to be alive ourselves. I see. You're right. Anything could happen. Akun, when this fight's over, let's go somewhere, okay? Just the two of us? Aw. Let's do this. How do I... Well, first thing we need to do is figure out... Okay, so on the bottom, we got ink coming up here. Uh, we can plant a sentry gun. Let's just put it straight up. One of the advantages of being down in the corner here. Uh, I want you to move that way. Uh, you can just chill. You can just chill. Your turn. You can launch all your little babies. So can you? Alright, let's chill. How's the sentinel? Don't let up. Don't waste any chain. My turn. Come on. How's the sentinel? How's this? My turn now. Alright, what do we got? We have a lot of fires. Some print tails. Nothing really scary though. I think there's some guardian units in there though. Those are a little bit scary. Oh, I thought this only hits one kaiju. Uh, why there was no boom? Where'd the boom go? Clean him up. This is all pretty freaky. Where's my boom at? Your turn. Or does it take a while to get there? That's why it's. They're going for me. Don't let up. Uh, can you move out of the way? Okay, I think it just exploded. 
Because I saw something go boom. Okay, that's very expensive. I don't want to use that just yet. Um, oh, yeah, the, it, it went boom. We're all dead. <laughs> oh, we got some armored units. Uh, let's do the railgun since you're really good at that. Um, where is the armor guy? It's right there. That was great. Good job. Oh, I guess that hit it. Come on, no room for my turn now. Okay, let's go with our demonstrable blade on. Oh, this guy's a fire. I just noticed that. Okay, uh, EMP surround. Fall. Did that do it? How many left? Oh, Look at all the little insects just They'll go to town on that thing. It's just so much fun to watch. Hello? You're like right next to me. How? Hello there. Are we winning? I uh, go ahead and charge. Rush attack this. Really? Really? There we go. Oh, they're basically all dead now. Okay, that works for me. Um, I do think there are some guardians here, though. Did you just land, like, right next to me? Yes, you did. I'm gonna get a lot of work out of this EMP today. Let's go with uh, long range miss. Oh my god. Um, hello. They're lightning really, really fast. Did you notice that? They, they seem to be lightning really, really fast. Uh, Demolisher Blade here. Uh, do that. Play out another sentry gun. Uh, put it. Put it right there. Launch your planes. Maximum reach. Excellent. Uh, I could lay some pointing mines. May not be a bad idea. From like right. Why is that coming out? Is that like a city? Put them right there. Okay. Uh, I do want to. Um, I'm not too concerned. I don't know if I need to fire a super large missile at the moment. Although we are kind of surrounded. Maybe it is a good idea. Alright, I, I changed my mind. God, that is so ridiculously powerful. Oh, that thing's flying. Dang it! Stop flying on me. Very annoying. Kaboom. That homing missile does a lot. Did you see that? Did about 8,000 damage. So far, so good. I mean, this is a little bit chaotic, but I think we're doing perfectly fine here. Let's put a guardian right in between the missiles. Are you guys still alive? That was good. No room for hesitation. Can you get down there? I can't. Um, how quickly can you get down there? Yeah, we're doing fine. Don't worry about it. Never mind. We're not doing fine. <laughs> We are not doing fine. Come on. Just don't be a hero. Oh, 
hero, all right? I thought we were doing fine. We are not no, doing fine. I can't win. Can't nice. Gotta keep my spirits up. What to do? Don't let up. Yeah, I, I really thought we were doing fine. We are not doing fine. That is definitely for sure. Um. Get in there. Did that do it? Wow, that did a lot. They're going for me. Watch another guardian. I need to save Amaguchi's life here. This is all pretty freaky. Uh, sublarge missile. Yeah, sure. I know the other one's a problem, but that's such a beautiful move. That's my new favorite move. Uh, shield repair yourself. Okay, that helps. What's the plan? Uh, the plan is to get back over here because we need to clean up. I just told you the plan. Hit this thing with everything you got. How's the sentinel? Don't waste any chances. By the time he gets over there, this thing's gonna be dead. See, told you. Alright, that went a little bit dicier than I thought it was going, but eh, we got through it okay. I didn't know I'm a Christian was like dying there. That scared me. Everyone has an EMP. We'll need flares equipped too. They're important for stopping missile assaults, Izumi -kun. I keep forgetting about that. Good point, Shinonomi Senpai. We need all the offense we can muster, so we can't waste it shooting down missiles. Okay. We can't afford to lose this. I mean, my defense was a giant laser that shot through Amaguchi. It wasn't missiles. I don't think it was, at least. How'd the city do? Almost 5,000. It's almost 5,000! And you only got... You got very little in terms of damage, too. Wow, we have a level 25. And a level 16. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, the percentages don't look good as far as uh, Sentinels go. 50.6. Terminal, 7.9. I think that's the first time they've ever actually hit our terminal. I think that was because they had that big laser beam at point blank, you know, shot. Uh, that did a lot of damage. But anyway, oops, not mean to do that. Uh, but anyways, my name is Flyers Bird, this is your Game Channel, and this is our Blind Let's Play, 13 Sentinels Each is for the PS5. I want to thank you all so very much. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. As we are 86% of the way through the story, and uh, closing in on that final number pretty fast. So join us next time. And until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.